What up, guys? This is Chivo Guys. Back here again with another achievement guide. Today, we're going to be focusing on Nixoria. This game is developed and published by Turnox. It just got updated with another 1,000 gamer score, taking it from 2,000 gamer score to 3,000 gamer score. On top of that, the game is only $4.99. Now, the first 2000 gamer score takes anywhere from an hour and a half to two hours to get the full 2000G. As far as the 3000 gamer score update, this latest 1000 gamer score is going to take you anywhere from 15 to 25 minutes. Now, before we get started, let's go ahead and take a quick look at the new achievements. As you can see, I have 2000 out of 3000 gamer score. All of the new achievements are related to the new Abyss mode. This is actually a brand new mode that they just added along with the new achievements. Ultimately, we have to complete 5 levels in the new Abyss mode. This is really easy as long as you go into the settings and you change the difficulty to very easy. As you can see, I actually had it on the easy difficulty, but I believe there's actually a very easy difficulty. You want to make sure to put it on very easy to make this as easy as possible. So let's go ahead and press new game. And at this point, you need to choose four characters. I recommend starting off with the Explosion Girl, uh, just because she has some pretty good attacks. And then second, I selected the Fire Sorceress. And then the third, I selected the Cat, which is the Warrior. And then I selected the Wizard. That should fill out your whole team. And finally, you want to make sure to select Abyss. It is the new mode. It's an infinite adventure with the random modifier on each level. So... We're going to start off on level 1, and ultimately, what we need to do in each of these levels is make our way to the boss battle. The boss battle is hidden under one of these battle icons, and what you can do is you can actually go ahead and just retreat from a battle. You won't always be able to evade. It shows a percentage on the evade icon, showing you what chance you have in terms of retreating. I only have a 37% chance, so I had to press it a few times to be able to run away from that battle. So, you can skip all the battles by retreating from them. You may need to press that retreat button a few times though, because again, it isn't always guaranteed that you'll be able to run away. Now, as you can see, I found the boss battle, and the bosses are going to be randomized, as well as the levels, guys. So, don't try to navigate through the dungeon the way that I am, because your levels are going to look totally different than mine. Basically, what you want to do is, once you get to a boss battle, you want to start attacking with each of your four characters. Typically, the icon after the retreat icon is their special ability. I like to use the special ability for each of the characters. If it doesn't allow you to use the special ability, typically, I'll just press the first icon, which is the sword icon, that allows you to just do a standard attack. So yeah, we just want to continue to attack him. Again, use your special ability if possible. If not, just use the first icon. With the explosion girl, you want to use the bomb, which is her first icon. That one typically does a lot of damage compared to the other attacks. The thing is, is, if she's far away, it may take two turns to get all the way to the boss or the enemy. Now, if the boss spawns another enemy, you will have to kill that enemy to end this round. Even if you kill the boss, you'll still have to kill that other enemy. For example, I'm probably going to kill the boss before the enemy that it spawned, and we'll see right here for sure. Alright, he should only take one more hit or two. Let's see... I'll wait on killing that guy, and we'll just attack the boss just one more time. Yeah, see, so it still requires you to kill the other enemies, so no need to ignore them or anything like that, because you're going to have to kill them either way. So, that's going to finish our first boss battle. After you complete a boss battle, what you want to do is press the number one option, the top option. It says go downstairs, and that's going to take you to the next level. As you can see, I just got my first achievement in the new 3000 gamer score update. That one's worth 200 gamer score. That one's for completing the first level in the abyss mode. So, next what we want to do is go through all of these battle icons and try to find the boss battle. So, again, I'm going to go ahead and evade this battle because that's just going to make it a lot faster. This battle is not the boss battle either, so I'm going to try to run away from this one. If the percentage is in the 20s for the retreat, I'd say you probably want to just attack them because you may need to press it like 5 or 6 times to be able to get away. For example, right there, I think I had to press it like 5 times or so to be able to retreat. And look at that, we already found the boss battle for level 2. So all we have to do is defeat this boss and we'll be able to make our way to level 3 and we'll unlock the second of the 5 achievements in the 3000 gamer score update. Now this boss will produce clones of himself. And all you have to do is just attack the main one, 
and ultimately that will destroy all three of them. Again, I'm using my special attacks if possible. And if not, you can just use your standard attack, which is typically the first icon. Now at this point, I think you guys have a pretty good idea of how to make your way through the 3000 gamer score update. All you have to do is rinse and repeat this until you complete the fifth level, and then you should have the brand new 1000 gamer score. Again, I'll just summarize it real quick before I go. Basically, in each of these levels, you have these battle icons. They kind of look like red wings, and all you have to do is go above those icons, and you'll be introduced into a battle. Some of these battles are just regular battles, but one of the battles in each of the levels is a boss battle. You're trying to find the battle icon that has the boss battle beneath it, and what you want to do is defeat that boss, and that will advance you to the next level. Every time you advance a level in the Abyss mode, you're going to get an achievement all the way up until you complete the fifth level. That will give you your full 3000 gamer score out of 3000 gamer score. Now before I go, I want to talk about the resting mechanic because it's important. Eventually you're not going to be able to see pretty much anything except for your character. What you want to do is press Y to rest and then you want to press, I think select to pull up your inventory. And what you need to do is satisfy the hunger and sanity and health on each of your characters for you to be able to proceed and be able to see more when you're traveling around through these dungeons. So I'm going to start to drag some food over to all of my characters and make sure their hunger is, you know, um, at least above 80%, ideally, you know, 100% if you have enough food. And once their hunger is up, you're going to start to see their sanity increase. The health and the hunger is related to the food. The sanity is for resting, but you can't really rest uh, well unless your hunger and health has been satisfied. Anyhow, we're done resting, so that would lead us into the next boss. And again, you're just going to rinse and repeat this until you get your full 3000 gamer score, guys. I think at this point I made it pretty simple. I think there's no need in walking you guys through uh, the five levels in the abyss just because, again, they are randomized. So the levels that I participated in are going to be different than the levels that you are seeing on your screen. So I've given you pretty much all of the tips that you need to make your way through the 3000 gamer score update. If for some reason you guys are wondering, because Zitalon had to revert all of their achievements on their base 1000 gamer score to the default launch achievements, Nixoria doesn't have to do this because the default base 1000 gamer score was never altered, so the achievements will not be changing in this game. And in terms of the 2000 and 3000 gamer score updates, those aren't going anywhere or changing either because those were not breaking any rules. Other than that, I'd like to give a huge thank you to all of my Patreon subscribers. We just hit 20 patrons. I'd like to give a special shout out to everybody in the biggest fan club, including TimG84, AOJ, Blackbird, and Kegger101. As always, I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe.